as simple as that for me. Uh, but I've been told to stay in my lane, and that means for us to do the construction, and then we have the, uh, uh, the accounting team that's supposed to go out and, and, and get the money. So with my marching orders, we need the waiver. But if we don't get the waiver, the program will go on, and some projects will just get pushed out for five or ten years. It's, it's really not a big deal. If, if you don't want all the projects done in a contemporary fashion, and that's what it is for me. And that's scope driven, not budget driven. Nothing has changed. Scope driven. Scope driven. So, and, and, and I appreciate everybody making comments about me and what I said. Some of them were accurate, some were inaccurate. And, and I don't choose to be defensive and fight all of those things. This was a concept that came up when we moved from a modernization program. You saw all those schools that Dr. Harder said that basically the buildings got refurbished to a full out program. So where we go back in and, and we build things. And so that, that, as I understand, I wasn't here, that was called the one seat process. That, and as I understand, that was fully vetted, went through lots of board meetings, lots of other kind of things. And really all I'm doing is following marching orders. Yeah, this program is a school driven program. Oh, and along with my comment, I also like to, it's quite a personal privilege. It's a, I, 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 one thing that I think is missing when people refer to your, your statements about scope-based budgeting is that you were acting, you're being a messenger, you're being a, you're, the whole tone that you had, the stance was, I want to be as honest as possible with everybody on the committee, and this is a policy that's part of the district policy, it's not necessarily, the, it's a policy that I'm trying to implement, and, and, I would, and I'm trying to explain as clearly as possible what it actually is, so I appreciate that. So. And, and really, so staff doesn't take any independent action, mm -hmm. so while we are the, the messenger, and while I think rightly so, um, that, that, that we take the heat, uh, all of the things that we do go in front of the board and get approved in front of the board. So that's why it's interesting to me that, you know, we have the venom that comes back and staff and all of this other kind of stuff when, when we're following direction. And I appreciate everybody's comment and it adds beautiful context and, and if this hasn't been talked about in eight years, I think that's when it when this one seat standard happened mm -hmm. in eight years, then I think it's a, an appropriate time frame to come back and talk about it. Because Charles knew, knows about all of this. He, he's known about this because he's been involved in the program. But now everyone else knows. Well, now everybody else knows. But it wasn't like it was a big secret. It had been out there. And, you know, the reaction to this is um, interesting to me. Okay, my specific question about 